Hi, this is Colin Horner from Visual Thinking with another in the series Sketchnoting with Concepts app. In this short video I'm going to show you how I set my desktop up for sketchnoting in the Concepts app. What I want is speed. So I've set my layers on the left and tools on the right. I happen to be a left-handed person so that suits me and the objects at the bottom of the screen. Now how did I set that up? Well if I go into the settings mode I'm using the Apple Pencil but I'm disabling pressure. I want some flow in my strokes if I can get it. Uh, I play around with this long delay option but I'm not perfect with it by any means at the moment. Um, two finger tap is on undo. The three finger tap I will alternate between toggling layers, toggling the tool wheel and toggling the color wheel. My current preference is toggling the tool wheel. Um, I'm a left handed interface and I'm showing touches, but I don't think you will see that in this video, the way I'm recording it. So layers menu left, object menu bottom, left-handed interface. So layers are presently in manual mode. And normally I will switch this to automatic. And because I've got a pen selected, in this case the fixed width pen, I'll automatically get a pen layer. That will be the same if I use the pen tool or I select the fountain pen tool. They all go in the pen layer. So if I go back, well, let's use the fountain pen and draw one of my favorite images. Now I want to add some color to this. Um, because I switched to automatic, I'm in the pen layer. Two tools that will give me automatic layering are the airbrush tool. So if I was to do colouring in this case using the airbrush tool, it's going in a layer below the pen layer, which is exactly what I want. And then I might add some shadows or accenting and I'd use the marker tool which has added the marker tool layer but it adds it below the airbrush layer so if I was to mark here you can't see you can see here I'm marking but you can't see there so I would have to take that layer and move it above the airbrush to get that accenting effect but as soon as I touch the layers they go into manual mode so I want to go back into automatic so there's a tool I really like for adding color. Let's make another one of these. And that's the fill tool. Unfortunately, at the moment, the fill tool is doesn't create its own layer. So I would maybe go down to the pencil layer, select it manually, and then go to the fill tool. It'll stay in the pencil layer. In this case, I'll choose my light blue. And I could, whoops, I could color my figure with the fill tool. Nice part about this, this is now that if I select the marker tool, I'd have to go back to manual, or maybe the airbrush tool. Let's drop its transparency or its opacity a bit and choose a gray color. I could now accent with the airbrush tool. So that's fast sketch noting in concepts, how to set up your desktop to your preferences. This is Colin, thank you for listening.